Hey, God bless you all this afternoon. God bless you. Happy Tuesday to everyone. We got we say God bless you and greetings. We're thankful again for this opportunity to come into your wherever you are at, cars, if you're on your way home from work or whatever you're doing. I want to just be able to stop in and pop in and pray with and for you on this Lord's Day. So I am Apostle Jeff Holiday. I am the senior pastor of Spreading the Word Worship Center and the presiding prelate of Kingdom Impact Network. And so I am uh, honored to be able to uh, come together with you and to pray with you and pray for you. So if you're coming in, uh, let me know that you're here. I think I see my niece Riri is on my niece daughter. Riri is on with us uh, this morning. I think I saw my wife uh, is on. Deacon Felix, God bless you, sir. Uh, I'm thankful to see your uh, smiling hands and smiling face today and your uh, warm greetings. So we're thankful this this afternoon. I, I'm, I'm uh, praying with you and for you. Uh, I was telling uh, another uh, apostle, a pastor uh, today, because uh, he was saying, are, are you, aren't you praying this morning? And I was telling him, I said that, you know, how uh, God is initially gave me this uh, particular um, assignment. It was spontaneous. And so I said, okay, I pulled back a little bit from um, 7.30 on Tuesdays mornings. That don't mean I won't never come on at 7.30 on Tuesday mornings, but I may pop up in the midnight hour. I may pop up at 4 o'clock. God bless you, Elder Ro. I see you this afternoon down in Texas. God bless you. Uh, I am thankful uh, to be able to uh, say that the Lord is with us. I'm thankful to say that the Lord is keeping us. I'm thankful to say that the Lord is still good. And so, I I'm again, I'm not here. I'm not going to be on a long time. Just popping up spontaneously to pray. You never know when you need prayer. You never know when the person is going through what they're going through. But wh wherever you are and however you are and whatever's happening in your life, let you know that God is not leaving you by yourself. God has not called you for you to be by yourself in any of these things. So we don't have to be uh, fearful or, or nervous or afraid about nothing because God is with us. God is with us. If you don't mind, just tell yourself that God is with you. God is with you. And so as we are uh, preparing our hearts uh, and our minds to pray right now, I want you all, again, if you have any prayer requests, put them in the comment box. If you have any prayer requests, put them down here in the comment field. If you don't want it to be publicly known and you just want it to be uh, personal to me, send me a, a direct message if you're seeing it on YouTube. Send me a, in a Facebook messenger if you're seeing it on Facebook. And so, uh, and we will pray with you and it'll stay right with, between the two of us. And I believe that God will do a uh, great and abundant work in your life. And I'm standing in agreement with you for results. Again, we're believing God for results. We're believing God that he's doing a great and mighty thing in all of our lives. So let us go 
to the throne of grace on today. Again, Father, we are thankful today for this opportunity that you have given us, Lord, to be on this Tuesday to come together, God, or Lord, even whenever we may see this, some may be seeing it live, some may be seeing it, Lord, at their most darkest time in their life, in the middle of a night, in the middle of a morning, in the middle of a lunch break. They may have just come out of a tough meeting, but God, we are coming right now and we're praying together as a faith family. Lord, believing your, your report, Lord, you we are saying we believe your report, Father, that God, you are doing all things well. You are doing great things in our life, that you, God, are bringing health to our navel. You are bringing health to our bodies and our minds. God, Lord, those who are struggling with different illnesses, God, we come today and we come lifting them up before you, Father. Lord, some are dealing with uh, negative reports from the doctors. Some are dealing with negative reports from their credit. Some are dealing with negative reports in relationships. Some are dealing with negative reports, God, in their money. Some are dealing with negative reports, God, on their work. But God, wherever there is a an avenue of negativity, we know you are the counterbalance, Father. We know that you are the counterbalance, God. And by you being the counterbalance, we know, God, that you can do exceeding and abundantly more than we can ask or think according to the power that is working within us, God. And Lord, even in our weakness, our weakness is denoting power. Why? Because God, in our weakness, we know that we have to lean wholly and, and depending on you for you to be able to do what you do well, Father. So Lord, our weakness is showing strength because we can't do this without you, Father. We can't do this without you. We are not puffed up in pride. We're not puffed up in thinking that we can handle the situation. We're not puffed up and thinking that we can do this, but we are saying this day, God, as a unified group of believers, that this is a job for Jesus. This is a job for Jesus. So in this moment that we are in, God, and whatever we are facing, we are saying that this is a job for Jesus. Whatever we are going through right now, we're saying this is a job for Jesus. And whatever, God, we are having to deal with in our emotional realm, whatever we're having to deal with in our psychological realm, whatever we have to deal with in our physical realm, whatever even the darkness of the adversary in our spiritual realm, that we have to deal with right now. We are saying this is a job for Jesus. We are God casting all of our cares on you because you care for us. So in this in this moment that we have together, God, in these few moments that we have together with our brothers and our sisters, some don't some don't have our last name, some don't have our blood, some don't have our DNA, some have a different denomination, some are believers, some may not be believers. But God, we are coming together in the principle of your word, God, that where two or three are gathered together in your name, therefore you will be in the midst. So in this time that we have together, we are saying be in the midst of us, Father. Join in the midst of us, God. You have the right of way in our life, God. We yield our members to you. We yield our tongue to you, God. So, Lord, where our tongue was saying that we can't do something, that we can't pray, that we can't get an answer that we're looking for, our tongue is now saying that we can get do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So, in the darkness and the times that we are living in and the challenges that we have, we're still saying that we can make it through these times. We say that we can make it through these challenges. We're saying we can make it through these moments in our life. And because we are saying that, God, we are yielding our tongue to you. We're yielding our mind to you. Our mind says that we will run on and see what the end is going to bring. Our mind says that we will continue to move on and move forward and see what the end is going to bring. But we're yielding our hands to you. So even as your hand says, Lord, that we're clapping our hands, all you people, and we're going to believe you, God. We're using our hands as a warfare in the moment that we're in. So God, we're going to clap our hands, God. We're going to clap our hands and we're going to praise you as a weapon of war to believe, God, that you, God, are giving us the, the victory and what we need to see and what we need to do in the time that we're living in. We're yielding our tongue to you, God, and we're shouting unto the Lord with a voice of triumph, God. So in this time that we're in, we're saying that we are shouting unto the Lord. We're saying, God, we are praising you. We're, God, we're praying this day right now. Now, for those, God, who are, are who are on the verge, who are on the edge, and they feel like they can't praise, but we're interceding for our brothers and our sisters. We're not judging them for where they're at right now, but we're interceding for them for where they're at right now. And we're believing your report, God, that, God, you are giving them the strength 
to be able to praise. We're giving, we're believing you, God, that you're giving them the strength to clap their hands. We're believing you right now, God, the, that you're giving them the strength for their hearts to be healed. We get believing you right now for you get, giving them the strength for the depressive state that the adversary will want to bring up on their life, that life's journey will try to bring up on them, that those things will lift up, up off of them, God. And even God, they're submitting their minds. So they're lifting their minds and they're lifting their, their eyes unto the heels for, for which come of their help. Their help come from the Lord. We are praying this day, God, and we're believing you, God, that you are allowing their help to come in right now. You are super Superseding what the adversary has said. You are superseding what what uh, pressures have said. You are superseding what Democrats have said, what Republicans have said, what presidents have said, what former presidents have said, what Twitter has said, Lord, what Instagram has said, what Snapchat has said, what Facebook has said. You are superseding, God, what the boss has said. You are superseding, Lord, what the government has said. We are you are superseding all of those things, and we are praying this day in. Jesus matchless name that God you God have the right of way God and Lord you gonna do a mighty work in our life God and you're changing things for our benefit you're changing things for our better you're changing things in our life and we are and you're changing us in the moment that we are living in you are translating us God from faith to faith and from glory to glory, you are doing a mighty work, God. And we say yes to your will, God. We're saying yes to your work that you're doing in our life, God. Lord, we don't understand everything, God. But Lord, just as Peter did not understand the, the, the deepness of the water, the depths of the water, the waves that were surrounding him, the only thing he was focused on in the moment, Father, was walking to you because you bid him to come. So God, right now, you're bidding us to move into the direction of praying one for the other. We're moving to the direction, God, of finality, God, of problems and issues and circumstances that have been unfavorable. We're moving to the finality, God, of negative doctrine report to healing, God. We're moving to the finality, God, of being broken, Lord, and to being whole. We're moving from the, from the finality, God, of being, Lord, out there in the world doing anything and everything that we were doing to being sold out, God. We are praying today. We're interceding in the middle of the day for someone, God, who has been, Lord, thinking about giving their life to you and the enemy has been fighting them from moving forward in their purpose. But this day we are praying in Jesus name, God, that someone's life is changing over to you, God. Someone who has been empty is now being filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone who has been down, Lord, they are being lifted up and they're being higher in the spirit. Someone's God whose joy has been on E, that God, you have them at the gas tank right now and they're there for a fill up. So we are praying right now in Jesus' name that you, God, are getting the glory out of all of our lives. So we pray today, Lord, right now, Lord, that the churches, God, that have been on the wall, Lord, we're praying that they will continue to be on the wall. The pastors, God, who have been, Lord, uh, researching and, and praying and, Lord, asking you for wisdom and direction. Lord, I even pray that the release of the wisdom of Solomon be sitting upon the head of the leadership of your kingdom. We believe you for it right now, God. And Lord, you're preparing us, God. You're preparing us, God. You're preparing us, God, for what is to come. You're preparing us, God, for what is to come. And we, God, know, Lord, your word tells us, God, that the latter shall be greater, God. The latter shall be greater, God. The latter shall be greater, Father. And God, we are ready to receive the latter rain. We are ready to receive the latter rain. So this day, we say yes to you, Father. Even in the middle of an afternoon, we say yes to you. If you're seeing it in the middle of a night, we say yes to you. If you're seeing it early in the morning, we say yes to you. If it's late at night before you go to bed, we say yes to you, Father. And God, we honor your righteous and matchless name. And Lord, I even pray, God, for my brothers and sisters, who are having Bible study on tonight. Those who are having midweek or uh, Tuesday night Bible classes, I pray right now, God, that you are sending a ready word into the lives of the leaders, the preachers that will preach your word and the hearers, Lord, that they will not have itching ears, but God, that they will have open ears 
to be able to hear what thus saith the Lord. And God, that they will be engaged. I pray, God, Lord, those, God, that, that the scrolling will stop. And God, that, and that they will be locked in to their church while their pastor or their minister or whoever is preaching or whoever is teaching the Bible study, that the people will be locked in and engaged in the discipleship process. Because now is the time that, God, you are getting ready to release what, is, what has been held up. And we honor you for these things right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, God bless you all today. Let me uh, jump in. So I'm looking I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking down so I can see who's on with me. God bless you again, Riri. God bless you. Who, who are all these people? I can't, I'm missing. Okay, God bless you, Jasper. God bless you. Uh, Apostle Miles, God bless you. Hey, God bless you, Sister Patricia Stowers. God bless you. God bless you. Zaniah, God bless you. God bless you. I got I got my I got my uh good glasses on. So I yeah, I think that's it. All right. God bless you. All right, again, Deacon Felix. God bless you. So if I messed up anybody's name, please, or I didn't say your name, please forgive me. All right, please forgive me. I'm trying to um I'm trying to navigate all of this technology at the same time. But I again I was impressed with the Lord to share this time with you. So God bless you all. I want you all to be encouraged in all that you do. Be, if you're, uh, if you're, uh, you're listening in your car and you're on your way home, please be safe. Don't be distracted. Please be safe. Don't be distracted as you're um, uh, driving around two and four. Be, uh, keep your head on a swivel. Keep your hands at uh, 10 and three or 10 and two or whatever. And so that you can make sure that you make it safely home. Don't be distracted. Even by Facebook, don't be distracted. Just put cut, cut on the video or whatever and let it play through your car. You ain't even got to touch nothing. Just don't be distracted. And so let's get home safely. Let's do what we got to do. If you're not busy tomorrow, uh, uh, join me tomorrow evening at seven o'clock for our for our uh, midweek Bible class. Uh, we're continuing on in our teaching on the discipline dare. God has given me a word to be able to, I believe, gonna that's really going to bless your life on tomorrow evening. I cannot wait to continue this teaching on the discipline dare. If you uh, have not uh, went to my YouTube channel, Please go to my YouTube channel, Bishop Jeff Holiday, H O L L I D A Y, Bishop Jeff Holiday. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you will be able to see all of these prayers that I pray. That when we pray, when uh, you'll see the sermons that I preach, the t the Bible classes that I teach, and I believe it will bless you. So you all continue to be blessed, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might, and we're gonna keep on keeping on and moving in the flow and the uh the power of the Lord. So. Until we talk again next time, uh, you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.